Karina42, your favorite YouTube harpy, and we have some some information about the new Picard series here. Let's let's take a look. This, uh, thank you so much. Uh, make sure I get your name right, Melanie. Thank you so much for sending me this. Uh, this is from British Television, a show called This Morning. I don't remember watching that when I was over in Britain, but I didn't watch a lot of a lot of television when I was over there anyway. So, uh, let's pull this up on screen. Where there <laughs> that works. Let's take a look at what, what he has to say. You know, they're, they're doing this weird segment where he's, they're, he's eating honey, talking about beekeeping. But they do kind of sneak in some, Patrick, some, some Picard questions for Sir Patrick Stewart. So let, let's take a listen here. Honey onto your bread. Is it true that even though I know you said that you wouldn't revisit Jean-Luc Picard, that you are thinking about doing it, you are going to do something? Um, have thought and have said yeah. yes. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, we, we already know this. We already know this part. Um, Fantastic. I, I never believed this would or could happen yeah. because there have been numerous ideas and offers to bring the character or the series back in some way. Yeah. And I've always had to say, no, that is the past. I, I'm proud of what we did, but it's, it's not going to be revived, certainly not in the shape of Patrick Stewart. Right. And, um, and then they, I met with the producers and wonderful and clever people and they told me about the idea they had for this and oh, no. it's quite different from next generation okay that's that's the red flag right there quite different from next generation well we, we already know that they can't legally make it this universe this this universe of, of you know tos tng all that in that continuity we, and still be able to make a profit. That is part of their whole non-compete licensing deals. It's super convoluted, but we know that they can't make it that that Picard. It has to be 25% different for them to even be able to make a profit on it, to make money on it. He's just confirming, again, that it's a completely different Picard than we know, a completely different world. Uh, it's 20 years on, which is exactly how much time has passed yeah. since we wrapped the series yeah. in Los Angeles. And um, with every day that goes by, as the production draws nearer, I get more and more excited at the so thought you of can't, yeah, You wouldn't go back, to, uh, knowing you, uh, uh, I think, in the roles that you take, you wouldn't go back to him as he was, so he would have to be different for you to go back to him. Um, as he was. You would not go back to him as he was. So we're not getting... Everybody who's like, oh, I have hope for the Picard series. It's not going to be the Picard series that we know. This is Jake Picard. This is what they did with The Last Jedi with Jake Skywalker, where they made Luke a completely different character, so much that Mark Hamill himself even said, no, I just had to put in my head that I'm playing Jake Skywalker. Except that Sir Patrick Stewart seems to be on board with this. I'm assuming that they gave him the same bullshit flim flam stuff that they did with the Discovery cast. Rumor has it that some of the Discovery cast is not as entirely pleased that they were promised they would be regular Star Trek canon. They probably ha heard the same, oh yeah, it is prime, it is prime sort of line. And like everybody, we all have this sort of misconception of what prime is and what canon is. Prime is, is, pr prime, prime is this, prime is this. Prime came from this. The universe they're talking about is still in this world. This is canon. This is not Prime. This is not the Prime universe. I, I keep using these as props, and you haven't even seen the video yet that I use them as a prop in. But, you know, yes, so, so keep that in mind when we're talking about the Picard series, that it's not going to be our Picard. He's been saying this since this was announced. I love you, Patrick Stewart, but... but I, I don't I don't know if they're flim flamming him too. It kind of feels like they might be like like they're they're really good salespeople. They're really good pitch men, but they can't actually follow through with the product. You know, when you get it home, you unwrap it, it falls apart the second you you plug it in. Right? That is that is the Discovery Universe. You know, they've they've got a pretty pretty package on it it's got a, it's got a great big bro it's got the star trek logos all over it so you think it's star trek and you unwrap it and it's just a cheap knockoff and that's kind of what this is and it feels so bad that maybe he doesn't know it, it feels like he doesn't know you hit the nail on the head right there um and i imagine also it's a very closely guarded secret and we're trying to out, keep so. it yeah. under covers yeah. as much as possible because um th that we hope will entice people to tune in yeah. and watch it and then get taken up 
in the new world that yeah. uh, new world that the next generation is uh, now inhabiting. Right. How's the honey? Wait. The new world that the next generation is now inhabiting. All right, let, let, let's let's keep that. And, and pretty much everything else is just talking about their uh, their their King Arthur movie that he did with the this little kid over in England here. New world that the next generation is now inhabiting. Okay, that is a huge clue. It's a new world. It is. It, it, it's. It basically confirms what we've been saying all along. They they are not using the the real TV canon trek because legally they would have to make it twenty five percent different to change to to be able to profit and monetize it. Oh, what do you what do you think now that we've heard a little bit more straight from Sir Pat? I mean, I love the guy. I love Captain Picard. I probably like Picard more than Kirk a little bit, but Cisco's kind of the man. He, he at least since Cisco punched Q, but man, Picard, that's that's the trek I really really grew up with was Next Generation. This does not give me a lot of hope for that series unless unless they they get everything under the same license unless they really listen to the the good writer that they do have on board or the the one writer who's award winning and seems to be fairly competent at writing science fiction. If if they actually let the writers and let the actors question let the let the writers give something better stop focusing so much on the special effects and the visual effects and and the and the the pretty and the cinematic shit i want to hear i i want to hear picard talking in a room for 2 hours you know or for an hour that that is not what we get with with this discovery timeline, this Kel- Kelvin timeline, this prime timeline. We don't get that type of th- that type of storytelling. It's very action oriented, which, as we recall in Nemesis, Patrick Stewart himself was wanting it to go a little more cinematic, a little more action oriented, and that was one of the bad movies. And that was part of why that was one of the bad movies. So, I I don't know. I'm not having the best hope for this, especially since he's confirming that yes, this is in a new universe, this is in a new world. What do you guys think of this interview? And thank you so much, Melanie, for sending me this. I am Macarena42, and I will see you guys on the next video or live stream. Bye. Thanks for watching! If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button, and if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe! See you in the next video! Bye!